When the Cubs and Indians took the 2016 World Series to a Game 7, baseball fans were given the epic ending that this historic series deserved. But when Pittsburgh and Boston faced off in the first World Series, a champion couldn't be crowned until he played a Game 8. Nineteen oh one was an eventful year. The assassination of President McKinley created an atmosphere of panic in the U.S., causing the first crash of the New York Stock Exchange. And the Great Fire of nineteen oh one leveled most of Jacksonville, Florida. But while the world around it was falling apart, Major League Baseball was growing, as nineteen oh one marked the introduction of the American League. As it turns out, the National League was not excited about getting a baby brother. This meant more competition for player acquisitions. After two years of seeing some of its best players sign with the American League, the National League was ready to throw it down. And in 1903, the NL's Pittsburgh Pirates challenged the AL's Boston Americans to a best of 11 series for baseball supremacy. 11 games is ridiculous, so the Americans countered with a much more logical nine game series. The Pirates accepted, it was set. Much like an argument over the best pizza in Little Italy, everyone grabbed a bat and headed to the field to duke it out for the crown. It's always difficult to lose a pitcher before something as big as the World Series, but I have to take a moment here and try to adequately explain how the Pirates lost pitcher Ed Doheny. Doheny started off the 1903 season well, before completely unraveling. I mean completely. A Pittsburgh Post headline read, his mind is thought to be deranged, after exhibiting extreme paranoia and following a series of behavioral missteps, including throwing a bat at an opposing player before mocking fans who then threw stones at him. Doheny was placed under the care of a doctor at his home shortly before the start of the World Series. And while Game 7 was going on, Doheny physically threw his doctor out of his house. The following day, he violently attacked his male nurse with a cast iron stove leg. The police were called, but he threatened the life of anyone who came close. He was institutionalized and later died at Medfield State Asylum in 1916. On a much less serious note, the Pirates' best hitter, Honest Wagner, was hampered by a leg injury and pitcher Sam Lever was injured in a trap shooting competition. Things were not looking good for the National League side, but in Game 1 versus THE Cy Young, Pittsburgh managed to steal a game in Boston. As they say, a series doesn't start until someone wins on the road. The Pirates went on to take a 2-1 series lead behind two complete game wins from pitcher Deacon Phillippe. The Pirates sent him back out on the mound in Game 4 as the series moved to Pittsburgh. The Pirates' home field came with an interesting caveat. They placed overflow crowds behind ropes in the outfield because fuck walls. And they had a rule that any balls that rolled under the ropes would be a ground roll triple because fuck ground roll doubles. But it was a home field advantage for Deacon Phillippe and he threw his third complete game and third win of the series because, well, fuck. With a 3-1 lead, the Pirates started to falter. They needed help from their best hitter, Honest Wagner, but he was playing some of the worst baseball of his career the Pirates entered Game 7 with a 3-3 series split with Boston. Time to send Phillippe out there for start number 4. Only this time he couldn't outduel Cy Young. The Pirates have lost 3 straight. You're asking yourself, the Pirates are now down 4-3 in a best of 9 series. Your best pitcher Deacon Phillippe has thrown 4 complete games in 10 days. What do you do? You hit that goddamn Deacon Phillippe gong and you never look back. Phillippe took the mound for his fifth start of the series, but simply could not keep up with Bill Deneen, who was fresh having started only four games that series. Continuing his abysmal performance, Honest Wagner struck out to end the final game. The first World Series championship goes to the Boston Americans. Deacon Phillippe would go on to be the namesake of Reese Witherspoon and distant relative Ryan Phillippe's child. I wrote that as a joke until I found out it was true. So now you know. The whole thing was just a long lead up to the naming of Ryan Phillippe and Reese Witherspoon's child. Bye. Nice lens. The hand okay or just the face? It's not bad. Yeah, it's disappointing. Um, I could make noises, I forgot about that. Yeah. 